it's a really cool thing, at least from my experience, when I shifted from caring about my own development, like yeah. moving forward, and then having a team, and all I wanna do is watch them succeed. And I just get goosebumps even thinking about it because it's so fun to be in a position where you can help people thrive. And then I would say as a, um, this could also be an action item for people, but I do think that we don't celebrate enough. We don't celebrate our own achievements. We kind of move on. I remember once mm -hmm. I was doing a, you familiar with team and training? Mm -hmm. So they, they raise money for leukemia. And I was training to hike the Grand Canyon. And I spent about six months doing it with a team of people. We would meet every week and do different hikes. And I, it was a really tough hike. You get up at like three in the morning or something. And I finished. And I remember sitting on the toilet when I came back to my hotel room going, well, what's next? Like, I immediately thought, well, that's done. What's next? And I really didn't even take any time to go, oh my gosh, like you spent the last six months yeah. and yeah. all these things. So I think Alexa off. She heard your voice. <laughs> 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 got excited. <laughs> but I, I think one thing, so one area is celebrating your own accomplishments and whatever that looks like for you. You know, taking yourself out somewhere or even just an affirmation for yourself. But then the other one is celebrating the accomplishments of our team. And I find that so fun. And I remember, some of you may have heard of the book Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And he talks about the emotional bank account, which I had never heard of. I think it came out in the 80s or something. But this idea that, you know, a lot of people talk about the sandwich feedback Oreo, like, oh, I'm gonna give you a compliment just to give you something that you need to change, and then I'm gonna compliment you again, so you think everything's great. But then people just leave feeling pretty cruddy because all they focus is on the negative. But what he talks about is really looking for opportunities to praise people. And I just love that because it's so much easier to look at what's wrong. Like we're all fixers, I would say, most of us. Like, what can I change? What can I make? How can I make this better? And yet, I will say for me personally, and also managing people very intentionally, is what can I notice? Just even this week, like, what can I notice about them and say, and obviously it has to be authentic. You can't just manufacture compliments. But it's, it's amazing how much that lifts people up. So that's what I think of when I think about the development as a